welcome back to my channel where we start a lot of projects and never actually finish any. This is a continuation of the battery project. I have another video on this where I've kind of upgraded a, a different battery. This is a different one. So there was a Facebook listing, clean out the data closet for 300 bucks. I got a handful of these things. All the batteries are dead, put a bunch of new batteries in them. I want to update all this data to the cloud. These units nowadays, they do come with cloud features, but it's kind of the more expensive units. You can build one and it's very cost effective. Now you can go out and buy one of these battery meters. It has an RS-232 port on the back and you can plug that into the computer or into a microcontroller, update that data to the cloud. I did that, I blew out the 232 port. Don't ask how I did it, wired up something wrong. 60 bucks I think is what I paid for it. I didn't wanna buy another one and then potentially blow it out again or have to buy a bunch of these all throughout the house. Instead, I bought Node MCU, microcontroller with Wi-Fi, an ADS, 1115, that's a 16 bit um, ADC, a 20 amp shunt with a 75 millivolt drop across the shunt. You can see right now the battery bank is charging. It is measuring a negative voltage drop of approximately 2.2 millivolts. Can't see what's here on the screen, but the ADS via the microcontroller is also measuring the same voltage drop. Every second we take a measurement and we upload that data to Mongo and Mongo, we have the appropriate charting and we can calculate how much current that is on this 12 volt series pack. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the battery bank. We are currently observing a eight millivolt drop across that shunt. The microcontroller is also reading a eight millivolt drop across that shunt. We can calculate an amount of current being used I got all the lights plugged in. I can't do the math that fast. It's probably around two, two point, well, maybe one, one, one and a half amps of current across that shunt right now. It does measure bi-directionally, positive, negative voltage. And the code's down below. We currently have it configured. We can measure negative 250 to positive 250 millivolt range. It did require a tiny, tiny bit of calibration, but I mean, it was a tiny amount, like we're talking like two or 3% calibration. Other than that, yes, it looks very unsafe. We're gonna 3D print some enclosures. I originally actually had all this wiring inside of the unit. When we started seeing current draw on these batteries, there was an enormous amount of noise and the ADC was unable to measure the voltage drop accurately. So I moved everything outside, removed a lot of the noise sources. Now I gotta put it all back in. Thanks for watching.